it's um it's the beginning of 2019 um the first day back for a lot of people and i just wanted to come on here and talk a little bit about time and how we manage time and the pressure that we all have to feel like we've got to be somewhere else we've got to be further along the journey um we need to be doing more uh we need to be doing stuff all the time, we've got to be constantly busy, we're not where we want to be, all those feelings of ah, because we've had a break and I hope that you had a break and you switched off from social media and you took time out to think about where you want to be in this year because the new year gives us a little bit of a reset button so that we can kind of have a look back on what happened last year think about what we want for the next year and think about how we can put that into place and what i've seen is some people kind of feel like i haven't done enough i'm not where where i need to be i've got more to do and kind of a little bit of a sense of panic at the very beginning of the year that we're not where we need to be. So I just wanted to come on here and to reassure you that you're exactly where you need to be. You're exactly where you need to be on your journey right now to build your business the way you want to build it. Hi Jo, and what we can do is spend some time looking at other businesses. Where are they? They're further along the journey. Oh my God, ah, what are they doing? They're so much better than me, especially with social media. The thing is, what I hope for all of us, everybody watching, is that we're not going to die until we're 80 odd. And so we've got years and years and years to do all the things that we need to do with our business. So you've got plenty of time to get all that stuff done. And what I would invite you to do is look at this next year in four sections, in four areas that you get to improve the business. So every season we have three months and um, you can look at those three months as what do I do? What do I want to do in those three months? What's the task that I want to do? Now, maybe you want to grow your email list and that's your task. You're thinking, okay, I'm going to grow my email list. That means that I'll have more people in my funnel. That means that if I launch a product, there'll be people to sell it to. Well, then focus on doing that for the next 90 days, for the next three months, and then break that task down into bits. So if you want to grow your email list and you're going to do that in the next 90 days, then what do you need to do to make that happen? Maybe you need to create some kind of free course or something to get people on your email list. Maybe you need to do some advertising. Maybe you need to start emailing. What is it that you need to do so that at the end of this three months, you've got a good, healthy email list? And whatever it is that you wanna do, whether you wanna launch a product, whether you wanna create something new, whether you wanna write a book, whether you wanna build a shed, whatever that is that you want to do, break it down into smaller chunks and just give yourself the whole of those 90 days to do it because it will feel a lot more manageable and know that whatever stage you are in your business, that's the right stage for you. We can't leapfrog the learning, the failures, the bits that go wrong, the trialing and the testing. You need all of that to create a good, successful business. So give yourself a break. Know that Rome wasn't built in a day. You're exactly where you need to be in your business and think about how you can manage your time better to fit in all the things that you want to do with your business. I'm going to be posting out a special offer on Thursday to do with time and how we can manage our time better. So please have a look for the email on Thursday um, and check out if you'd like to kind of get involved in that time management um, exercise. Um, if you're not already on my email list, send me a message or put um, something below um, and let me know I can send you the link to sign up to the email newsletter and let me know how you're feeling. How is the new year feeling? Are you excited about what's going to happen? Are you feeling a little bit scared? Like, oh my God, I've got so many things to do. How are you feeling? I'd love to hear from you. And what's the thing that you feel like you need to build on and grow for your business to make it successful for this year? Okay, much love to you. Bye.